Uh, Konami, fix your game, bro. <laughs> fix your fucking game, bro. <laughs> this is this is why this is why people dropped for freaking. <laughs> This is why people drop for freak, freaking mastered old bro because this shit happens randomly, you know. YouTube, this is not the drill. <laughs> Teller Knights actually got support. Let's go, Trevor, best deck. Let's go. <laughs> Our boy Trevor is finally here. What? What the fuck? <laughs> I did not expect this at all. Like. You know, I, I always cope, I always hope, I always pray, you know, that we get Teller Knight support, but here it is! Um, the bad thing is that this is the only support we got, like, we got some pretty interesting uh, pens, uh, when I say interesting I mean trash, <laughs> they trash bro, let's be honest, the equip is interesting, but trash. <laughs> It's interesting, but trash, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, the only card you're gonna go for is Trevor. Um, Trevor, my bad. <laughs> so is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't know, no, you tell me, because that means you're only gonna have to go two times into the structure. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty nice, I guess. So first of all, this is the build that I went for at the beginning, you know, just without any testing, just, you know, I threw the cards together and <laughs> I tried it out. And I went, you know, straight up, I went 6-0. Um, so, yeah, um, the thing is that um, we don't have to play... Let's explain a bit. Um, well, it's gonna be a big explanation because there is a lot of things to talk about. First of all, um, there is not a single optimized build yet, in my opinion, of course, you know, someone may say, oh, no, bro, my build is optimized, bro, trust me, bro. <laughs> Yo, my build, bro, is optimized. <laughs> okay, anyways, yeah, there, I would say there isn't an optimized build. Um, now, I'm just gonna present three builds to you that I think uh, one of them is gonna be the way. Um, and it's gonna depend, you know, there, you have to optimize the build for the meta, you know. Uh, there, there, the deck doesn't have an optimized build on its own. A optimized build means optimized for the meta, you know. So, yeah, that's the thing that we have to take into account. But this is the build that I went for. As you can see, we're not playing Sirius anymore. We're playing only Unux, and we're playing uh, Oasis, we're playing Fiendish Chain, we're playing Zing. I'm gonna explain all of the choices. Well. Deneb, standard. Altair, standard. Yunuk, um, we, we are playing Yunuk because we want to see Deneb. Yunuk basically drops Deneb into the graveyard so you can revive it with Altair or Oasis. And why are we playing um, continuous traps, you may ask? Well, as we can read Trevor, if this card is XE summoned, return all other cards on the field to the hand. Do you re realize what that means? Do you comprehend what that means? It means you can reuse your fiendish chain. You can reuse your oasis. You can reuse your zing. That's pretty insane, you know? <laughs> without, without saying that, you know, it bounces the rest of the board, you know, the opponent's cards. Just, just that is insane as, as well. But then reusing all of your cards is broken, it's busted. So yeah, that's why we're playing, um, I'm not sure if double oasis, I would probably play one oasis because it is reusable, you know. Um, so yeah, I would play, um, I would change up, I'm still not sure how I would play the deck. I'm just presenting you right here, this is the build that I went for at the beginning, I went 6-0. So yeah, um, the deck choices, you know, their standard book, Floodgate, one of the, you know, Floodgate best card maybe. Uh, in the meta right now for, you know, just floodgating their monster is pretty insane. Alpha is pretty nice because, you know, it, it's an Omni Negate, basically. And uh, it helps you with the, drop, with the drop out, so you can potentially draw into your Deneb. Um, because, you know, if you open Yunuk, if you open Vegan, if you open Altair, yeah, that's a Prismatic Baby, let's go. Um, with Altair, with uh, I'll potentially draw into our Deneb, it's pretty nice. That's that's uh, pretty much the goal of Fa. Um, so yeah, Zing, you know, is amazing to, um, I would say, um, targeting two spells and traps and permanently locking them is pretty insane. 
Um, we're playing Mind Scan. Now, um, I first of all, I said, you know, I, I was considering Mind Scan because I feel like Destiny Draw does not help as much as it used to. Plus, you know, I'm kind of biased, I'm a magnet enthusiast, so <laughs> I want to splash Mind Scan in, in every deck. Um, so the thing is that most people were like, bro, what the hell, D draw best deck, bro, what, what do you mean, Mind Scan? And people are kind of converting now. Um, I was right, you, <laughs> you already know, bro. I was right, see? <laughs> mind Scan! <laughs> So yeah, people are starting to play mind, mind Scan as well. There are other skills that I want to mention. Overlay Gain, something like that. Um, Fields of the Warriors, you know, Tidal Binds. Why? Well, because Trevor with our boys is not lethal, let's say with Yunuk. It's very short of lethal. So if we want to, if we want to play for lethal plays, um, we would, you know, um, we would need to boost our attack so that's why people started playing these skills I'm not sure I'm not sure if attack boost skills are gonna be the way or mind scan or destiny draw you know um, but I do think that for I, I for now think that mind scan is gonna be the way so yeah um, now in this build like like you see I was playing double deltros because I didn't buy the second structure yet this is gonna be something close to optimal extra deck. Dweller is pretty nice. You can you can switch up the dweller. You can switch up the dweller. The dweller spot is only flexible spot, I would say. Diamond Dire needed. Tre two Trevors are needed for the optimal build, of course. If you don't if you don't want to play optimal, you don't have to even have Trevor. You know, you can reach King of Games without Trevor. Or, you know, um, you can play just Deltros, you know, the standard build without the new support. But optimally, I would say, two Trevor, two Batlamas at least, um, one Deltros and one Darmin Dire are pretty um, optimal, yeah. Um, so yeah, th this is the this build, this is my uh, one of the first builds. Um, I would probably play it something like this. Um, I'm not sure about serious. The serious question is a serious question. <laughs> It's a serious question. A lot of people say serious comes up, serious gives you grind game, serious is needed, it's only one card. Well, that's a wrong approach, I would say. It's only a one card. Because you have like 20% chances in a smaller build like this, you have like 20% chances of opening it and it being a dead card. Similarly, Altair can be a dead card at the beginning of the duel. Vegan without the neb is without the neb is a pretty dead card at the beginning of the duel, you know. So you're literally boosting your chances of are already an inconsistent deck to be more inconsistent uh, in a in a super consistent meta. And you may say, yeah, but just play a 25 card build, a 30 card build. Well, that doesn't change as much um, in a 30 card build, even though. 30 card isn't played as much people people would play uh, in with in a bigger build they would play like 25 26 cards in a 30 card build it would the, the odds of opening one off serious is 13% uh, 20% um, um, is uh, if you're playing 20 cards and then 25 uh, if you're playing 25 cards um, odds are like 15%, 16% that you will open Sirius, which is a big deal actually if you're not gonna use Sirius most of your matches. And, and why would you not do that? Because Trevor is so oppressive. Bouncing the whole board, yoinking a card from the field, if you resolve Trevor one to two times, you know, you should be able to win the game. So you don't really need the grind game potentially. Um, that's a question that I still have to answer for myself first, um, if serious is the way, because I do really like the grind game, and I do think that, it, and I do think that that serious, that the grind game from that serious off is one of the best things about Teller Knights, and one of the most enjoyable things for me. You know, I love grind game. Um, so, so that that said, I <laughs> I'm not against Sirius because I don't like you know grind game. You know, I would love if Sirius is an optimal way to go. I'm just not convinced. I cannot lie. You know, I'm just telling you how I feel and what I think. And you know, I would love that if if Sirius and Skybridge are the optimal way to go. I'm just not 
con convinced by it yet. Um, so yeah, that's why I want to present to you what I think, you know, how, how I feel. And then if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, you know, it is, it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, I think we answered now some questions. Serious extra deck questions, I would say, are pretty answered. Um, at least how I feel about them now. Skills, we already talked about. Now the question is, a bigger build, a smaller, smaller build, sky bridge, no sky bridge, you know. How are we gonna go now? So, shout out to uh, Max K. Um, he's the one that's that came up with this build. Not exactly this build, I did put in Zing, which um, he didn't. And I... Uh, he was playing a 20 card build, I boosted it up to 2 cards. Um, but yeah, he, he gave me the, the idea of playing 3 Unox, 3 Skybridge in a very, very compact build as a turbo for, for Trevor. Now, the question is, is that better? Is Trevor turbo better than, you know, control build? That is the question that we don't have an answer just yet. Um, I'm just presenting you options here, of course, if, if, if you're gonna play it on the ladder, you're gonna pick a build that you enjoy the most, you know. Um, but optimally, we, we just don't have all the answers yet, especially because there's not many tournaments nowadays, so... Um, that said, this is the build. Um, I find it I found it pretty nice actually. I find it doing really well. Um, like I said, they all all three builds that I'm gonna present that I'm presenting to you have their strengths and weaknesses. And I'm not sure which way is to go. Trevor Turbo or something in between, you know. Um, so this is the Trevor Turbo. It's focused on setting up Trevor as soon as possible. And how do you do that? With Yunuk plus Skybridge. Um, Yunuk drops the Deneb, Skybridge then uh, uh, summons Altair, which summons the Neb, And then with two cards you have basically your Trevor, which then yoinks a card, you know, clears the, clears the field basically. And then yoinks a card from the hand. And if you make it turn one, the opponent is one card less, um, first of all. And then Trevor also floats, very hard to deal with, so you can potentially yoink another card from his hand next turn. And then you should be, you, you should have at least one to two back row, hopefully, um, to help you um, even uh, disrupt them even more, you know. So yeah, this is the this is the Trevor Turbo. I think it's pretty nice. I'm um, I'm interested in seeing how it develops if it's gonna be the way. Uh, I'm not convinced um, just yet because it, even though you can, you know, uh, optimal thing you can set up um, is tre Trevor plus two back row. That's pretty nice, um, but the thing is that you're not gonna have that always. You know, if you open Altair plus any, you know, there is a lot of a lot of ways it can go wrong. There is a lot of ways it can go right. If if you have if you open balanced hand, it's amazing. If you don't open a balanced hand, it cannot feel as good. So yeah, that's something to consider. And finally, this is in something in between. You can summon um, Trevor first turn, second turn, but you can also you know control the duel. You have Sirius, you have your floodgates, you have a bigger build. So you will hopefully have uh, you know a m more balanced hand potentially maybe I I don't know I don't know about that Skybridge is a really weird card that I'm not completely sure about because in some cases it's insane in some cases it's slow and it can be a brick it can just be a brick you know um, if you make your engine bigger then you know you have a better chances of breaking it's that's it's that simple um it, you do also have a better chances of seeing the neb you know you have three the neb three yunuk three skybridge that's that's pretty nice chances of seeing the neb but that doesn't change that in the uh, that even if you have the neb this is the issue with taller knights even if you have the neb it doesn't matter if the rest of the hand is unbalanced because the only way that taller knights can succeed in this meta is if the hand is balanced because Teller Knights can be decently slow, you know, fairly slow. So um, having a balanced hand is crucial, I would say, in this meta. So that's why I'm not as sure about Skybridge, and that's why people roast me, bro. You cannot play, you can't not play Skybridge, bro. But yeah, I, I feel you, but you know, 
balanced hand a balanced hand is is needed it's just needed because phantom knights buster blader magnets are extremely consistent and ex extremely oppressive and then you know they you they <laughs> they will clap you if you don't open a balanced hand so yeah that's really a big issue i wish that um the optimal build would look something like this because it, it does feel like you're gonna um, have best of both worlds right with um trevor turbo and control hopefully you know and um, grind game with serious so that's why i pray this would something like this would be the way um but i'm just not convinced yet about skybridge maybe we would play two or something you know um yeah i'm just not sure um I'm gonna have to test, you know, it's it's been like just two days now that, or maybe one day, <laughs> yeah, that the structured deck came out. So we don't know all, um, all the, all the you know, um, answers yet and what is optimal, what is not optimal. Um, so yeah, this is the third version finally. Um, let me know what you think, of course, what the optimal way is. Um, if I didn't mention something, uh, please do let me know. Um, I'm, but anyways, it is time to do. Um, so yeah, I I'm try I'm trying to I'm will try. <laughs> fuck, I can't speak. <laughs> it's early for me. Come on. <laughs> um, I will try to be as quick as possible with this dual replays or show not many because I wasted a lot of time um, on the deck building part. Um, but yeah, uh, anyways, uh, I wanted to remind you if you're new to the channel to consider subscribing because it does help you to not miss out, you know, the content that I'm posting. And I really do think that my content is pretty nice. Um, at least Duel Links wise, I can confidently say that I'm, tr you know, posting very up builds and very competitive lists. Um, so you can be assured that you're, you're getting, <laughs> you're getting quality content, hopefully. Um, in my opinion, of course, because I do really think that, you know, most YouTubers generally um, like to focus on the fun part, on the fun, you know, anime decks and suboptimal, very suboptimal lists, suboptimal builds. But I really try to make my decks and, you know, um, stand out in that way that um, I'm trying to post competitive lists and actual, actual, actual decks. Uh, most of the times, of course, sometimes we meme, of course. Um, but yeah, I think that's the value of my channel that um, I'm posting. Um, I'm posting videos that I don't really see um, on the YouTube um, that much, you know. But yeah, uh, maybe I. Okay, so the thing here is <laughs> let's just comment on the duel a bit now <laughs> um hmm. where do we start well first of all we didn't open well as you as you can see this is the big issue with taller knights we, we, to fight with the best decks you're gonna have to open a balanced hand and we didn't open a balanced hand whatsoever um so yeah um, the thing is, we drew into another altier pretty bad. We all already have that. His navigation was dead. No, he was his navigation was actually alive. The Neb searches. We search for the vegan. We were playing vegan in this build. Vegan summons the eunuch. Eunuch drops another Deneb. Now at this point, he has to either commit um, to banish, you know, or not commit. But if he commits to banish, we can still with Batlamas make an exceed. If he doesn't commit, we can make a rank, a triple rank for exceed. And we go with the Triver. We bounce the whole field. His his whole you know it doesn't matter. I don't get banished. His whole board gets wiped. We can also yoink a card from his hand. We can yoink a card from his hand again because the turn passed. He passed the turn. Uh, we can grab this and he scoops as he knows we have game with Deltros. With Deltros we can, you know, with Betlamis make Deltros, pop his illusion. And yeah, as you can see, uh, this is why serious potential isn't, isn't needed. Of course, it's Dark Magician on the ladder, yeah, sure. But I think it at least demonstrates the point that I said in the deck, at least demonstrates the point that I said in the deck building part that if, if we resolve Trevor once or twice, 
you know, we just win. <laughs> so maybe the grind game isn't as needed, which means it's suboptimal. Um, also, um, if you enjoy my content and if you want to see the, these duels live and stuff, join us on Twitch where I stream. Um, so yeah. Also join us in the Discord where we talk about stuff. If you if you have any questions about the decklist, you know I'm a, I'm a Teller Knight enthusiast. You know, <laughs> um, so if you have any questions about anything, it's much easier for me to answer and to see your questions in the Discord because I sometimes don't get notified um, here um, on YouTube about every comment. You know, it's it's hard to see every comment. But in the Discord, it's much easier to explain stuff to talk. You know, randomly. Um, so yeah. Anyways, we're playing a mirror match, and <laughs> in a 30 card deck, he opened vegan plus the neb. If it if it's that simple, it's the you know, <laughs> it's that simple. He drops the altir. Okay, interesting, interesting. He goes for the deltros. Uh, okay, pretty weird. Not gonna lie. Um, with Yunuk, we can drop. He has an alpha, which is not the best for us. Good thing is we have Floodgate, because Floodgate kinda kills, uh, can kill Tel Teller Knights. Doesn't have to kill, but if we have to, <laughs> yeah, it kinda does kill. So um, we decide to set also Zing, because he draws one card from the alpha, he draws another card from his normal draw, so the odds are decent that he's gonna have multiple back rows, especially as he went through some of his monsters already, you know, and he did open a lot of monsters, it seems, in the hand um, before, so yeah, let's see. He goes for the Batlamas, we Floodgate, he doesn't have anything. He goes for the Altair into the Vegan, we Floodgate again. Why is that? Well, it's better to Floodgate um, Altair than Vegan, because Vegan goes into defense, so, you know, we don't take any extra damage, and it's better to have Vegan, to leave his Vegan on the field than um, Altair. So, yeah. He says two back row, as I told you, you know, he, as he did draw two cards. And with Zing, you know, we can just <laughs> yoink his back row. <laughs> And hopefully top deck something, nope, but the good thing is now with Oasis we can resummon the uh, Yunuk, which can then drop the the Neb and then we have, you know, plays. Um, so yeah, here he can't do anything, because there's really zero things he can do. <laughs> and that means we're gonna top deck at some point, we top deck Altair, which is pretty nice because with Yunuk we can drop the, the, the Neb. We can resummon with Altair to the Neb. The Neb grab another Altair. We can um, now go with the Triver, bounce everything back. And this is the power of our continuous traps. It's They are reusable, so after he sets his back row again, we can just... <laughs> we can just negate them again. <laughs> um, and then we have Alpha, Trevor floats, and we can yoink one of his cards from the hand, and we have follow-up um, in Oasis, which can, you know, once per turn literally give us resources. We join his Oasis and his scoops because we have the complete control. So yeah, this is this is the this is the way. <laughs> and the last duel replay. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit tired. I've I've been recording this video for a while, and uh, yeah, I didn't get that much sleep. So yeah. We're, play we're playing against Sarah. Uh, Sarah was playing uh, Burning Abyss. Okay. Burning Abyss can be a bit annoying, but the good thing now is we don't have to pop their stuff, we can just return them to the hand. So that is pretty nice. Okay, he goes with the Crane Crane into Dante. Dante can drop, he drops everything, everything he needed basically, right? He doesn't get search, or did he get search? I guess he didn't. He MSTs, he MSTs the alpha, which was pretty nice for him. Okay, goes for the farfa, banishes the dude, okay. We can gate him right now, so we don't get OTK'd. And uh, let's see, can we top deck? Copium? Nope, but... Um, I think we're in a decent spot here because Dante is out of resources. He probably can't summon a, one monster with uh, that is bigger than Altair, which means we should be able to just stall it out. We have Book to disrupt, we have Oasis, 
and just ready to go if we tap the Kyunok or something. And then we have Zing to, you know, lock down the back row. He passes the turn. We don't top deck. This is the issue, right? If you don't see your Deneb, we're gonna have to just stall it out. And a lot of decks, you know, this is just burning abyss. A lot of decks can, you know, play uh, through the back, uh, through Floodgate. A lot of decks also can't, but yeah, a lot of decks can also. We top up deck finally the Deneb. And let's see, can we can we OTK maybe? Probably not. But yeah, we can go with Batlamas. We can go into the Shiver. Shiver can uh, great thing with Shiver. We chain Oasis, which does um, our Altair hand. So and we can reuse that Oasis next turn. So that's pretty nice. We d decide to not yoink, right? We didn't yoink his card from the hand because all of his cards activate from the graveyard. We don't want to get our boy banished or give him a search or get him to pop a back row or something. I don't know. You know, we can floodgate right away. He econ takes for the trigger. He yoinks a card from the glitch Nami. And his um, uh, Altair floats. Uh, tripping mana. We can go with Oasis. I don't know what the fuck happened here, what, what the glitch happened here. What the fuck? It's actually glitched completely. <sighs> uh, Konami, fix your game, bro! Uh, Konami, fix your game, bro! <laughs> fix your fucking game, bro! <laughs> this, is, this, is why, this is why people dropped for freaking... <laughs> This is why people drop for freak, freaking Master Duel, bro, because this shit happens randomly, you know? Um, anyways, next turn with Altair... <laughs> next turn with Altair, we can, you know, pop his last card and OTK. Um, and that's and that's it. <laughs> um, anyways... <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully you enjoyed the guide at the beginning of the video, my explanation on the deck lists. Let me know what you think, let me know what you think about the deck, Is if it's gonna be top tier, do you think um, the consistency is too big of an issue? Um, so yeah, I guess that's gonna be it, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye!